Welcome back to Factorio Mega Base in the Book. My name is Nilaus, and we have more and exciting new things to design for the space. Somehow, Mega Bases in Factorio, they just, they're just never done, are they? And uh, this one is continuing thanks to all of the lovely patrons who are supporting the channel. And every patron of the Templar rank or higher gets their own episodes. And I will continue to make uh, these videos as long as there are names on the list. So thank you very much for that. And uh, now I did some work between sessions and that's, uh, that's just, we're going to recap on this. This used to be water. Now it's not. <laughs> it, it took a monstrous amount of, uh, of landfilling to fill all of this, but I really needed this one to be here. So I had a nice square thing because what we want to work on, oh yeah, by the way, we are also moving our Bidotrons up here. Bidotrons, uh, the length filatrons, moving them up here so they can get started on that. So filling this on it. What I want to do today is uh, get started on our big project of sort of securing the perimeter in an automated manner because uh, we are getting attacked all the time and the beep beep for things getting it destroyed is annoying. So we have uh, some things to do and it's not going to be like the whole build today, obviously not, but I want to do sort of a a test case of it, like a prototype. Yeah, I think that's a prototype. A prototype is the right word for it. I want to build a prototype right here in the safety of my hub. And then once we sort of like how it's working, then we can figure out how to uh, to build it out in the world. We have a, a few sort of our tasks that we need to get done in the beginning. And that is we need to get more of this. This needs to be filled in. And that means our robots here go up. Of our spatatrons. Sorry about that. Um, I am also here. These are filling up. And there's. I've sort of went out and I cleared this and I realized like, I spent like, two, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Just this. It's not because it takes a long time, but it's, it, you just have to keep attention to it. And that was like the, the deal breaker for me. Just going like, okay, I have to do something about it. And then we will go for the last row of, of anything here. That one. And on this side. There. We can also see that during the time... Oh, I, oh, come on. I was just about to say that it was... The blue one was not a problem. All of this has been accruing more blue circuits. This is now 12,000. This is 23,000 plus there's a train rating. And this is 30,000, no train rating. So as soon as this one gets to 32,000, then this blinky blinky will disappear. That's, uh, that's good. So we are at the position where we are actually getting enough blue circuits it just needs to get to uh, to sort of fill up the oh fill up the area to begin with this is not doing very well <laughs> that is very dead that's probably because this is the one that gets consumed the first right so what we want to do is we want to build a test case i need okay there are two ways we can do artillery out by the perimeter one way is doing artillery train and the other one is taking artillery uh, using cargo wagons and unloading into uh, into trains i think the the best generally would be doing artillery trains because oh this looks so glorious uh the best the reason why the artillery train because then it goes out and shoots it moves on and it can have 100 per per part while a normal wagon here can only have 40 so that will need to go back and forth a lot more often especially in the beginning and uh, that the, the problem with the artillery train is that it will only sort of shoot when it gets there. While if I build a base out here that's always on standby, but then I think it'll actually work better. So let's let's just toy with the idea that we will have a... Let's pretend that this is the perimeter. How do we pretend that? I don't know. Let's let's uh, pretend we know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's let's do it. I have an idea. We'll do it this way. This obviously doesn't make any sense, but I'm gonna put it here. So this city block represents a city block out here. And then what I want to do is I want to figure out like what are we gonna build here in order to make make it look and work correctly. So the first thing I want to do is uh, we're definitely going to get some trains through this. And it might just seem super illogical way of doing this. Why is that there? That's weird. That's really weird why that's there. All right. Well, I must have had something at that point. So this represents that in the t in the city block that's closest to the edge, I will always have 
Oh, that's actually true. That's probably not going to get all of it. Uh, in the city block that's closest to the edge, I will have a line such as this going all the way through. Fill, fill, fill. Oh, no. Okay. And on, I think that's what I want is basically go in here and go out. Yeah. Yes. And how do I want to do this? I want to do that by having... Something like this, because I want it close to the edge, but not too close to the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly casual. I know. And uh, a clip to clip it a car. So that could be a way, but also want to make sure that it can go back. Do we want the same on this side? Uh, don't think this will ever be necessary, but let's uh, let's try to do it this way anyway. All right. So that is a very simple intersection and that will go with a stop here and then i will need to get some because of these let's go four i think four is like a good number for this it doesn't have to shoot fast it just has to sort of shoot a bit i do have a lot of these right yeah i have 20 in storage yet they're, they're perpetually attack uh, constructing i like this but i also don't think that i can actually signal it correctly can i it might be one of those cases where I get, where are my path signals of satisfactory? Can't believe, can't believe that it's actually satisfactory as it has a, a cooler feature for this than, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, it goes up though. This one is very happy to see. I can't build anything in here and I kind of need it. So this has to go. Yeah, I can't believe satisfactory actually has better train things than Satisfactorio does at this point. That is crazy. And now I also want to press E to get to alternate to the other one. Oh my god, I've, I've played too much for Satisfactory these days. Damn. I can't even remember how to uh, to do signals in Factorio anymore. I want this to, to be empty and... Okay, so is this correctly modeled? I think I'll put this one here so it opens. Yeah, I think this is correct. Let's see. And then from the other side, you go here, you go here. Oh, right. This one has to go up. There. That's fine. And this will be the change signal because it has to cut over here. And then that's also a change signal. Man, if they could be at a line, that would be nice. Why are they not on a line here? They are now. I can't clip it when it's... Uh, uh, it looks like it's the same thing I built. So that's good. It's symmetrical, kind of. And then, of course, this is because it's crossing. And this one is because it's crossing that way. I think that's correct. If it's not correct, I'm sure that someone will yell at me in... Uh, the comment section, let me see, is this enough? One, two, three, four, not five. You know, I think we maybe want to drag this just a bit back. Just to, just to make sure that we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. So now I can have a train that goes, it, it's completely irrelevant, but you know, sometimes, sometimes there are things you, one, two, three, four, five. But this is not big enough. This is the only one tooth. Okay, you know what? This absolutely doesn't matter. Why am I even doing these kind of things? Uh, what is more important is getting... There. And then building the size that the train needs. That's going to be here. Here. Right. One, two, three, four. Yes, four trains or four wagons. I'll be put these in. How is that not connected? That's weird. I'll connect it to this one. Good. This is good. And then that will be a station. I will call this. Actually, I should call it that. <clears throat> and then I'll call this something else. This will be artillery shells instead. Because I mean, this is actually where I load the shells. Boom. 
and then I'll bring it out here. And I should have some of these. Don't want to put more of this. The question is, how big do I want it? I, I kind of like the idea of just building it super small. Like something like this. And then saying, you can only have 10 shots stored in this location. Hmm. It's very modest, but I, I think that the modesty in this case is good because this is not, just to clear up, clear any confusion. This is intended to sort of keep everything that's around and nearby, keep that in check, but it's what is not assigned, not it's intended to, oh, you, you, you uh, what it's not intended to do is to get, uh, to sort of clear out and just explore the world. I actually want to really refrain from exploring, using them for exploration. Because if I use them for exploration, then it just, yeah, it, it's just not, it's not really, really practical. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm deliberately avoiding these going into this area because if they go in, they'll suddenly request 25,000, uh, uh, yeah, landfill. There's no reason to do that. Might as well just take them in here. So they go around this area, go in here, get that, and then they can go back up here. And it's pretty laggy right now, but that's kind of how it is. All right, do we like this? This means the train comes in and it can at any given time, it'll unload. But I do need some kind of indication because this one should open and close automatically. Automatically. How do we do that? We do that by listening to how much is, oops, is in here. There. And... And, and, and what? And then I need to say if it's less than something, then bring in more. It, it should be like less than 10. Because it, it's okay that it runs low, but it should not be running. Like worst case scenario would be that three of them are running out and one of them is full. And then the train should still come in. Yes. So it should be less than, less than 10. No idea. Basically, if this is less than 10, actually less or equal to than 10, then send a single signal of L inbound, and that L goes into this, and I will set the train limit to L. That makes sense. And I will also get a signal here. Really, really would like to generally do make them green. If I put it here, then you can barely see that it's green. I'll do that. This one, if L is greater than zero, then use a color and send it to green. It's not bad. Pretty, pretty easy to see that this is enabled and wants a train coming in. Good. All right, let's uh, call this done. And then what we need. Wow, I'm actually UPS constrained. Uh, I do know why. There's a few robots in the air. You're coming in there. That one's going up there. Uh, these are also actually building just a bit of landfill out there as well. It's fine. And at this location, I will do a branch. <clears throat> that will do this branch. and get it into here. That means, again, we're pretending that it's out there and at the edge of the world. And I will now need to do the loading station where we load the artillery. Here, this will be where we load the artillery. Uh, let's see. I guess it's just going to be the, like a normal 1-4 train. I don't think it could be anything else. And I don't mind it having lights down there. It's fine. So how much do we want? Well, I think we just want all of them. This one can only take 40. So that's very low. I'll probably need more than one train going here. Let's actually make sure that we have more than one train. And uh, the only way I can make more than one train is by doing this. Ugh. Or that. Yeah, 
There's definitely room for another train. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, not definitely, but there is room for another train. That's all I need. All I need to know. So there's room for another train here. And did I not decide to have fuel for these? I guess not. Well, I'm going to have fuel here. This one will not have any conditions. Like this station is just always open. And the train will then go from here when it's full into one of the other ones that are open. And I want all of these to be called the same thing because then they will close down. And then eventually, if something up here starts shooting, then that will drop below the threshold and it'll open. It's similar to how I do the do this part. Like they're all called the same thing for this. I have 43 stations. And whenever one of them is open, then it opens and then the train goes there and just feeds it. So what I want to make sure is I do not have this too high because if I have it too high, then it's, it's not going to be able to fill it easily. So what if I just make this as 10? That means I'll have 60 at this location. That seems like a very modest number. There. And then let's also do the same as we did for the other ones. Get some roboports. And we also have roboports, I guess, for all the other ones that are not relevant. So let's also do that here. Good. All right. So that's a lot of roboports. And this one looks good. I will take this train and this will go to Atsurui until full. And then go to... Well, artillery shell until full, and then go to artillery until... Mm, it should have two conditions. Either inactivity for two seconds. That means it has unloaded whatever it can. It's not empty. Or it should be time passed. It should not be at this location very much. Very long time, like 15 seconds. Or it's empty. So if either of these conditions are true, get out of that station and move on. Perfect. What color are we making it? Oh no, I'm, am I going to start messing with colors? I have no idea how colors work. I kind of wanted it yellow. That's not, uh, there's no yellow in this. There we go. That's the pink train. We'll do it this one. It's not pretty. Yeah, it's actually quite pretty. We'll do that. Good. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Yeah. And I think I want one more of these trains. Uh, no, I don't. Well, I do, but not like this. One, two, three, four. Four. And copy, paste. Get some fuel in here. Fuel goes there. Fuel goes there and then this one can also go full and let me jump in and then see if the whole thing works now what should happen when I set it to full is that it will go to it'll go in here get loaded it's already loaded then I'll go here unload and go back let's see it's a bit choppy like this is 50 uh, UPS you can really feel it but it's only when the robots are super active, I hope. There, it unloads to this location. These are ready to go. Five inside and then five on that antenna here. Let's have a look at, okay, I'm just jumping out. What does this say? This says 40. This is exactly what it should. And then when it says 40, then it also has five in here. That is now good to go. Man, that is really nice. The question though is, how many of these are we gonna do? Like, I'm kind. The, the easy thing is like you build out here, and then you just build it all the way around, and then you build like a few entrances. But I don't think that's correct, objectively. I think that it's better to do to maybe maybe have one dedicated to west and one dedicated to east. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's definitely build this one here out into the world. And let's send our spider trons, our builder trons out here to actually do this. Don't I have this as a blueprint already? 
So they shouldn't have to do this. Wow, that's a lot of blueprints. Someone's really been diligent on this. And there, there, there. Probably you're gonna miss something when I do this. And then there the question becomes, how close do I want to make it? Hmm. Uh, that's not it. I wanna see this one. Like, what is the range of this? It's a pretty decent range, despite me not having set it up. So I think that it's, if I make it, let's let's do something. Oh, these tags are super annoying now. Like, I can make one here. I think I want three in between. And I can't remove it. I can only delete it. And then I have to do another one like this. One, two, that one. And then the next one would be... All right, you know what? I'm just going to experiment with this where I think it would make sense to have it. And then we'll uh, see where that is. Okay, so I did some uh, more work out here, and uh, I've decided that there will be three between here, and you can see all the way down here, and it matches pretty well because this one's going to be a corner. I know that it'll be very beneficial to actually place in a corner, but then I'd have to do a different design for it, and I don't really think that I want to do that. Hello, autosave. Up here, unfortunately, it's slightly not ideal because, yeah, I might want to just push this out a bit further so it goes one, two three, four, and then a corner up here. Maybe like, maybe I'll do that, maybe I don't. I'll keep it like this for now. It's, uh, it, I'm mainly getting attacked on this side and this side, so that's where I want to prioritize. Now, we do have another problem, and that is something that I know that has also been mentioned in the comment section. What happens when this one goes in and it starts firing? Well, let's actually take this one. This one starts firing and all of that crap starts roaring in here. They will primarily attack towards the source of the attack so they will be heading towards this location and that means this area will be heavily attacked that corresponds to this area so what i want to do is i want to take these out because obviously this is not going to be covered this is not going to be here because well they, they're not um and i'm going to be putting the meats in here good what this uh what oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's actually a good point yep here they need to get the power from the side and I also definitely will not have these here. That is part of sort of the old old way. Now, what would I like to have here to strengthen this? Obviously, well, in the long run, two, two lines here is enough. But it's not enough sort of in a in a consistent manner or in a in in a in a spike situation, like when I get an upgrade to the range or when I just place it, then I'll get massively attacked on this location. So what would be like nice to have is that we would have some kind of defense, maybe even something like this. This would protect this key area here, nothing more than that. And then it would in involve having some specific items here. <gasps> Am I gonna do buffer chests? Is he going to do buffer chest? No, he's not going to do buffer chest. Oh, I thought he, I thought he was going to do buffer chest. Wow. Whew. Uh, what are the things we want? Let's try to figure out. We need laser turrets. We need substations. We need repair packs. And we need robots. That's four things, and it can only be four things that I want. Yes. So what I could do is take the train and then have each one of the locations actually not have 40 of each but having maybe one of those locations dedicated to something else let's try that and i will do here this one will be dedicated to let's say robots are going to be the toughest ones because they actually need to go eh, straight in there well that can happen so let's not do robots first let's do repair packs because that's super important let's do repair packs so when this the first train here will also unload repair packs how much repair pack will it unload that should be a specific number like that let's say you will unload 200 repair packs and that's it there which means that it'll be having 200 but when the when the robots pick up some robot some repair packs and go out and repair that will be removed from the logistics and then more will come in so i can't just i can't just do it like this because then 
it will there will be some robots that can't place them again. And I'll do, okay, yeah, yeah, that deserved it. Just to know who's the boss. This next one will be uh, uh, here. Laser charts. Yep. And how many laser charts do we want? Definitely not 200. That's way too much to stay store here. Let's do like 50. Yeah, so that every location has 50 stored. That's still kind of a lot. And this one will then be substations. Because they might actually die. And I don't want many substations here. I like 10. That's even, that's five is a lot. Here, and then the last one, which is going to be the most troublesome one, that will be construction robo -po construction robots. There. And I think 100 construction robots. Hmm. That's not right. Because it's actually not going to be connected to the robot network. It's going to be connected to how much is actually in here. There. Here. And then I'll take from this one. Yeah, this will be until there's 100 yes and this one will be read logistics come no read the robots and that is construction bots no not available total construction bots i'll do this this way that's just no i don't i don't like that it's inconsistent with how i usually do it so let's go back to t that means this one should be t which is the total number of construction bots in the network if the total number of construction bots about robots in the network is less than 100 then it will not unload from the train but anything that's in here will be put in hey another research and then i kind of feel that this might actually just be the way i want it yeah it doesn't need logistics storage and it should not connect to the other one so somewhere like this let's see this is midway no there. That's going to be even... Okay, so what do we have here is... From the top, it's going to be... Repair packs. Laser turrets. Let's do that. That makes it slightly different. That means this train also has to be... Uh, different. <laughs> and then I'll build another one. This will be repair packs. Good thing we found that before we got it started. That would be like 200. Let's go. And I said 200, so that means I should be taking this one will be, oops. Do I like this? Yeah. Let's make sure that we have enough. So I should say whatever I'm requesting, I should have double that. Yep. Next here. This will be... Uh, what was it? This was laser turrets. Alright, let's go laser turrets. And... You're requesting 200. Let's request 400. There. This one will request... 100 laser turrets. Because that's twice as much as we need. And then we take these two out. And change that to... Laser charts. And then the everything else will be locked in as well, so that there will be no confusion. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to do this, then the middle mouse button will lock it to whatever you have in here. It doesn't work for chests, but it works for wagons and vehicles in general. So it's super nice. Or you can also pick up an item and then a middle mouse and then select it here. Middle mouse to clear it. There. And that these two go out. The next one was to, yeah, substations. I only want 10. That's going to be difficult to do. We'll have to do like 50 because this one will be able to have 50 here. So 50 substations, that's all, it, all there is. And the other ones go locked in. Click, 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 click. Maybe it's actually easier to do it in another way. Let me just do that for the next one. Copy paste. That was easier. 
And we'll take the last one. That was the Roboports. Oh, no, Robots. Robots. I needed 100 Robots, so I should have 200 Robots requested. And 200 Robots in here. How much will that be? That should be... To a robot copy uh, that you can also like shift right click and shift left click to copy paste those values maybe you learn something new who knows and then i will do copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste i will send you out to here and then i'll send you back Oh, that's interesting. This one uh, did not have it. So, let's see if this one is working. That goes in. That goes in, that goes in, that goes in. Perfect. And I will... What? what? Iron plates are running out. Are you kidding me? Wow. Well, that's, that's, that's something. I was kind of thinking, hmm, do I have enough iron plates? Uh, then... This one should also be sending... This one should definitely be different now. This should be a more advanced setup. It should be basically like if any of those conditions are lower, then you have a problem. Okay, let's do that. Uh, we'll take this one out and put it here. So either if this is lower, then it'll be get one. I don't think I'll have L as the number. I'll just have it as X because it's just a variable. And then we'll have more of those. Yep. And then that one's here. This one, next one will be... Let's start from the top. That was repair packs. So repair packs, if that is less than half of what I requested here. And then the next one is... That one. I'm requesting 50. So if it's less than 25. This one, if it is... And that's uh, substations. If it's less than 5. Okay, now we're being attacked. Ah, everything's falling apart. And the last one is robots. If the robots... Uh, the robots should then also be a different indicator. But here, if that's less than 50, then set it a value in. Yes. So we are going to do... So this is now getting a value... From here to here. Yes. This disappears. That's not what I want. From here to here, there's one. Yeah. Good. Actually, that connection doesn't need to be there. completely impossible to figure out what's connected. This one's not connected to anything. From here, it goes in there. And I could go from here to that one. Because I don't care what's in this here. Because what I care about is that one. T. If the total robots is less than that, then get in here and you're going to listen to the total number of robots. And then now I'll take all of these in here. And that will go into a separate one, which will basically say if X is greater than zero, then send a single L out. Because I don't want to have all of the X's. I don't want to request potentially five trains inbound. So we have like four things that are not good. And that means just open the damn train station, right? Open the station like that. And the train should be coming in right now. And this light is no longer going to be a green light. It's just going to be a light. Ta-da! Sending stuff out. Sending stuff out. Sending stuff out. And that is not good. That is not good. All of these are, of course, incorrect. Forgot that. Good to know. This is why we tested here and not in, in the real scenario out there in the world. This will be... Oops. Also need to filter it by robots. You'll be filtered by substations. You'll be filtered by 
your that one. And then there'll probably be something I'm missing, but luckily I have a few people in chat who will be very keen on letting me know all the things I missed, which is perfectly fine. Good. Is this constrained? No, this is not constrained at all. All right, so what do we have now? We have nothing is not working. Nothing is not working. So what are we getting this signal here? We're getting 200 plus 60 plus 40 plus 12. Sounds good. And if I just pick up this, then we'll light up, indicating that it's coming in. And do we have robots in here? Yes, we have 100 construction robots. They will, of course, be in this one. And then it's ready to do this. It's unloading. Oh, hold on. What went wrong? Why? What the? How did it not unload? You're still open. Train limit one of one. Okay, I need to figure out why it's not unloading here. Is this? No. This is good. It must be because there are no... Stop! This, if it's less than 200, it's enabled. Are you not enabled? You are in disabled. Why are you disabled? Because these ones count as being part of the network when that is the weirdest thing. They are technically part of this network. Yes, they're part of the robot network here because they're part of mine and I'm in here. Okay, so let's... That's super weird. So this monitors the boxes. It shouldn't actually monitor the boxes. It actually shouldn't monitor the boxes. This should be monitoring the robot network. Yep. That's good. We will um, make a change to this. So that... These are now monitored from here. Reading logistics network. I will need to just get... That one out here just to monitor as well just to see what it is we're getting that one what is this value this value is nothing so this is stopping okay let's try again if i take this out it still monitors as being 200 in the network because they're right here 204 if i take them out here It just goes in immediately. Okay, well, that's something. Looks like it's working. What about if I take this out? It's counting still 60 because it's still in my inventory. Now it's not. And it comes in immediately. How the hell does it come in this fast? It's crazy. And it goes away. All right, so I think this is uh, this, is, this looks like it's working and we are ready to implement it. That was what I wanted to do. Uh, so basically what it is, these four are monitoring what is in the logistics network while this, uh, this here is monitoring how much is in the boxes. I could also just make it all into logistics network. Would that be, that? this sound, we need to get rid of that sound. That is so annoying. I'm even gonna send my Spider turns down there just to hold down the line. Huh. <clears throat> I also think that... Yeah, this, you know what? We can... No, I don't want to do that. I, I think that's... It's inviting potential problems. What I do need, though, for this location... Not something I'd like to have, but something I know I need to have. I need to have some generic ones if there are some trees or if there's some robots or if there's something weird, then I don't want idle robots. I need to make sure that they go back into just a little bit of, of storage of whatever that's just there's always going to be like some junk storage and i want to make sure that it has something so this is now our blueprint and uh, i will be saving that and including this i'll be updating this blueprint and i will be adding this blueprint here for the artillery outpost blueprint for the blueprint session for today i think that's going to be glorious and i'm uh, I, I think there was a good good prototype for this 
Next time we are going to actually implement it, start making the first one and then see how it goes, standing out there trying to not help and then hopefully expand it further further out and then uh, hopefully get control of our perimeter in a better way. Potentially down here is going to be huge. And I do have a suspicion that it might, at least for the first many hours, it's not going to be easy to do this. Oh yeah, we also have a kind of an issue. There was sulfur just popping, sulfuric acid popping up and now iron is popping up as well. That's not great. Iron is kind of important. So we'll uh, need to figure out a solution for that as well. And I don't have any more iron deposits. Ah, crazy. I'm going to need to start tapping these in here just to uh, to get anything or tapping some of the steel deposits. Who knew? Anyway, that's going to be all we have time for today. I am really happy about this, uh, this setup. I think it works. If you find some flaws or design... Uh, in on optimizations then uh, or some improvements then let me know in the comment section below i really appreciate it and that's how we make this a better build for everyone but at least i think this will work and uh, that's gonna be it for now thank you very much for watching if you like it you know hit the like button it helps with the visibility of the video and if for some reason you haven't subscribed well consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you guys next time take care and stay effective